Alright, looks like we're gonna get right into this uh, Losers Finals. I will change the name of it real quick, don't worry. And uh, getting right into this, we got the Rapid Jabs coming out of your man Waddle, just trying to get something here. You know, I'm not gonna lie, okay, last time, the first time these two play, Waddle actually beat Meek pretty cleanly because uh, Meek didn't know the magic experience. He didn't have any magic knowledge against Fox for some reason. While, on the other hand, <clears throat> the second time they play around, Meek did some pretty disgusting things to your boy Waddle like he's doing right now. Takes Waddle off stage. And, uh, you know, kind of just put him at disadvantage for a little bit. But both these characters are very good at uh, kind of taking advantage of the other one's disadvantage state and kind of riding the momentum of that into a stock usually. So even if Waddle is at a deficit in percent, all it takes is one mess up from Meek in order for uh, in order for Waddle to confirm the stock. Down tilt though, gonna clip the Phantom right there and take the first stock of your man Waddle. Meek definitely doing in that good work. <clears throat> I think this is where that uh, comeback potential would... Okay, so Meek also played against Kenta earlier. And in my opinion right now, in this situation, Kenta will probably do a little bit better than Waddle because uh, Meek, I'm sorry, because playing against Meek, Kenta was able to get the fair footstool off him. I'm not sure if Waddle will really goes to the fair footstool or if he's confident enough in doing that. Like I said uh, earlier, Waddle, very, okay, nice deck. Waddle, uh, very fundamentally skilled based, while I would say Kenta is very technically skilled based. Like, Kenta works on tech, Waddle is basically really good at uh, stage awareness and punishes. <laughs> and conversions. But not so much on the perfect pivot end as, well, things uh, in the sort of, so, like, such perfect pivoting up tilts and stuff like that. He does not practice that kind of tech skill. Right now, I saw Meek was probably fishing for a back edge trying to catch that Phantom. He knew it was coming, so I'm surprised he didn't just go for the down tilt again. Nice roll read off of Waddle, trying to get that back air but uh, not able to connect. Good angle to avoid Meek's dare, though. Meek trying to get that down uh, spike, that down aerial on your man, but a raptor boost instead. He missed the, he missed the dare, and then just kind of got up and did a raptor boost, because why not? My man. Meek over here taking game one. Pretty good work out of there, Meek. Uh, we're coming out of Meek right there. It looks like Waddle opting for Town and City for his stage here. Good counter pick. If he can get the advantage state that he needs, he can kind of shark with up airs. And then, like all characters that have up airs that can juggle, they also kill for some silly reason. So he can just juggle it till it's kill percent, and then get a kill. Right now, Waddle had Meek in a disadvantaged state. I'm surprised he didn't go for a down smash. Meek was kind of holding onto the ledge for just a little bit longer than uh, I would personally like as a was playing Falcon right there. Falcon very successful to getting a clip by that down smash and how he lost his invincibility, but it's okay. Waddle keeping the advantage state of this game here until he runs off in this. Okay, it was like he ran off stage and re -grab and then grabbed ledge, but able to make it back and almost get a stock off, but uh, good tech off of Meek. <clears throat> Meek throwing out the jabs. Smart choice right there. And a nice mix up. He stopped the jabs. He knew that uh, Waddle wouldn't go for a regular good option after that. He tried to set up for a punish, but it wasn't fast enough to set up for it. And now Waddle's uh, falling for the same problem that Kenta had and just can't seem to get off of this ledge. Rolls on the stage one more time and gets clipped by the back air and loses his first stock to your man. That is unfortunate. Right now, Waddle definitely going to have to uh, play a little safe until he gets advantage. And right there, just like that, able to take stage, but going aggressive with that dash attack for almost no reason. That, I mean, the only option that would have covered was like a get-up jump. Like a get-up jump and attempt an attack, but... My man. Unfortunate. I will say, though, he didn't take too much percent from that. It just he's kind of playing a little scared and flubbing out moves and missing punishes and confirms. It looks like uh, Meek has definitely gotten into Waddle's head. 
and he's playing off of his aggression. Okay, but a quick back air out of while able to take that stock. Down throwing the dash stack into a quick up tilt. Waddle getting these nice little conversions off of that small, uh, small hit there. Like I said earlier, these characters are definitely really good at comboing each other due to their fastball status and their combo heavy playstyles. Meek, once again, takes control of stage but swiftly loses it after a uh, quick grab from Model. Run up, up smash. Gonna take it. Waddle. Wow, smart. Nice choice there. Very nice, uh, aggressive, unsafe option, so to speak. Because he didn't throw it out too much. And now Waddle debating on what to ban here. If I was him, I'd probably try to get rid of FD. I'd much rather deal with a stage that has something I can retreat to besides center or ledge. So uh, I'm hoping for the FD ban and then force him to go somewhere like Battlefield. Oh, nope. Right back to Town and City. Also, fair choice coming out of Meek. I mean, he did kind of, like, the game was pretty close, and he did lose the game only to, like, an up smash. If he would have expected that option, he definitely would have been able to punish Waddle and take that game. So it was only one small misread, so to speak, that kind of cost him the game. So he's probably just thinking, this time around, I'll just know and uh, keep that option in mind next time around that percent. Down tilt coming out of Meek, but uh, Waddle kind of waited it out, and he was able to throw all the rapid jabs to punish his get-up option. And now, once again, Meek just kind of comfortably sitting here uh, on ledge against Waddle. He tried to go for the people's elbow. I'm a little angry at that. He's at 130%. Just go for a tilt, get him off stage. I know you want the kill, but that elbow has such a bad ending lag that it's a pretty unsafe option to go for it. Up air. Gonna take it. That is unexpected. It didn't look like it was, it like kind of drifted, it looked like your man uh, Waddle could have potentially lived, but unfortunately didn't. Waddle though, not letting it get to him too much, definitely taking that uh, invincibility and using it to his advantage and put, uh, use that ability, okay, use the invincibility to start up a combo, put your man Meek up to 115%, tries to nair your man get up but not able to, but the Firefox is going to catch Meek before he can get back. Poor choice in aerial right there by Waddle. He went for the up air if he got a back air. He went for the back air because he saw that Meek was drifting back, which he catches right there. He definitely would have taken that stock out a little bit sooner and not taken uh, a little bit of percent there. Right now, <laughs> Fox, Waddle uh, got Meek off stage and went for the jab coverage himself. Kind of sat there and held on to the A button. Trying to do the same thing the Falcons do, but uh, did not work out for him as well. Either way, they'll definitely take advantage again. Until Meek goes for the extended uh, pass platform up B and grabbed him. Separated him for a little bit and gave him some space. Nair into dash attack. Trying to convert with the back air, but Meek jumping away, disengaging from that situation entirely. And then soft spot and E trading with uh, Waddle's aerial that I did not see there. Dash tag into up air, not connecting, but seeing that air dodge and uh, fast falling and going an up smash to take it. And now Waddle up a game. next game coming out here going to FD bottle up game last year you guys saw the little fist bump right there getting ready for it <clears throat> even though this is not a PR eligible event this win is definitely a confidence booster uh, you know it is not like Meek is not trying it's not like he's playing a secondary he is playing his main so it definitely shows that in the right circumstances Waddle could potentially take him next time if it is PR eligible <clears throat> Right now, Waddle has Meek in a disadvantage, uh, as in a disadvantageous state right here. 
breaking down that percent and just kind of uh, taking them across stage. Quick little laser and they get that percent. Meek, once again, Raptor boosting past ledge to grab Waddle and trying to uh, force him off to disengage that situation and helped out in his favor. He's able to take advantage, but a uh, freaking vanish. Not clashing with the jab. I'm a little mad that that happened. It should have clashed. But either way, it did not clash. It went in the way of Waddle's favor and he's able to get an up air to confirm that stock out. Right now, a dare into a fair. Coming out of Wild, he's trying to put in this extra credit for as long as he can. Meek going for the hard people's elbow, not going to work out for him though. <clears throat> and now the short hop, air dodge read into a fastball up tilt. I don't, I don't know why that's a stupid thing. Why, why is the thing exists where you can basically short hop up air someone if they air dodge, you can fastball and up tilt this box and then convert off another up air. That is silly. Either way though, it works out for him. And a back air, gonna take? No, yeah, almost gonna take Meek stock there. Wow, a footstool reading the roll into an up smash. Your boy Waddle taking it and sitting comfortably uh, while moving on. 